afternoon guys so I'm gonna make supper on a budget tonight and it's an amazing it's gonna taste so good it's not gonna taste like a budget meal but it is I'm doing a black bread healthy delicious pizza so this this package I got it on clearance for 268 and um, there's two flatbreads, so I'm making two. One for my hubby and one for me. And they're amazing. I never used to buy this type of bread. What kind is this bread? It's stone fire bread. Because I thought when I would cook it, it's going to be so dry. How could that be, like, not dry? But it's not. It's not. So if you've ever been like me, or you haven't bought this pizza because you thought, oh, I, mean, I can't, I don't want that type of dough. It's not going to be good. Trust me. It's a 50. It's amazing. It's not dry. I need to go get, I think I'm going to put Caesar dressing instead of pizza sauce. And I got to grab the hamburger that I cooked up out of the fridge and I'll be right back. I guess I had to grab more than just the, that's actually in hamburger. Can you guys see? And I got the lactose free marble hard cheese. I use marble for pizza and it's incredible. So we're doing Caesar dressing. You don't need to use a lot of it, but it gives it such a beautiful garlic. Okay there, Coke? It's not overpowering, and you would never know that this is salad dressing. You just wouldn't know. Nobody would know. It tastes like a beautiful cream sauce. Coco's growling because she literally is done eating, but she wants to lick her plate, and Paris is too close to her. So she's warning Paris to stay away. So you guys seen I didn't put a lot. You do not need a lot. And it gives it, oh. I wish they would make garlic fingers with this instead of garlic butter, and I'll tell you why. Have you ever had your garlic fingers and they're disgustingly greasy? Guess what, oh, Michelle. If you're watching this video, my friend Michelle, Chickens by the Lake, I know her son Nate loves garlic fingers, I believe, and they love pizza. And she does so much home cooking so she might already do this I'm not sure but I was gonna say we did make garlic fingers with this before and it's 50,000 times better you get such a beautiful garlic taste without the grease it's so so good you'll impress whoever it is you're making it for if I was just to put cheese and Parmesan on the snail and bacon bits that's the garlic fingers and that would be amazing but that's not what I'm doing. Okay, so my hubby, I'm putting hamburger on his, and I'm not going to have, I'm just letting him have it. I might have a little bit of scrapings of it, but like I said, I'm okay without meat. I'm not really a big meat person. Like, I mean, I do like chicken wings once in a while. I enjoy fish, and I like hamburger in a casserole and stuff, but like to have it there. I'll probably just put this on mine for me. Like, just enough for a bite here and there. There we go. That's fine. Okay, so I'm loading it with fresh veggies because I try to make our pizzas as healthy as possible so I have the rest of this green pepper. It's a half of a gigantic green pepper. I have a full tomato. Tomato is amazing on pizza. I'm going to use the rest of this beautiful red onion. We have pre-cooked bacon. And for my pizza in the freezer, I had black olives and chunky pineapple. So that's going on my pizza. My hubby hates this. So, oh, I need to get out mushrooms. Hold on, guys. I have real mushrooms in the fridge. Should I use those? I don't want to. There's just something about this right here. Plus my can's dented, so I want to use it, but it's a can of whole mushrooms. These taste so good on a pizza or when you're cooking steak or whatever. Yum. So you guys, the storm is heading our way right now. But I wanted to show you, I don't got the cheese on yet. I'm getting ready to put the spice, but this is mine. Lots of mushroom, my hubby. I did put bacon under his cheese but he got all the veggies too and 
I cut his mushrooms really small and I only gave him a little because he doesn't hate mushrooms, but he could live his life perfectly and be happy without ever having to have mushrooms. So I try to squeeze a little bit in. I mean, it is a can. So this here is just Parmesan spice. It's not just Parmesan. There's herbs in it. And it's wonderful on a pizza. And then, of course, no pizza is complete without your oregano. This is how the best pizza places in the world make their pizza and how it tastes like your grandmother's cooking right here. It gives it that light, earthy taste, and it gives your pizza, instead of it being like a heavy, greasy, weighed down pizza, this is what gives it a beautiful, homemade, airy texture, you know what I mean? I got a great cheese now to put it on. I guess I should put my pineapple. I keep it in a bowl because I take it out of the freezer to on thaw, right? And um, I don't want to make a mess. You guys know when things on thaw, so... Now you see why I don't even need much meat because my pizza, you couldn't get any more beautiful flavors than all this. I mean, I got black olives, I got juicy sweet pineapple, I have mushrooms which take on that meaty texture anyway, I have red onion and green pepper and like, what else do I got? Tomato, plus we have a garlic base, like I'm not missing out on any flavor or anything at all. So, when I do pizza for my parents, they love a flatbread. They don't so much care for pizza dough anymore. It's too thick for them. They love this thin crust style. So, usually what I do is when I'm making thin crust pizzas, I call them up and I say, it's pizza night. Do you guys want me to make you some pizza? And usually the answer is yes. But sometimes it's a no because they have like plans or they already ate or whatever. But most of the time it is a yes. And they eat the same style of pizza as me, except my dad likes meat on his pizza. So dad, like mom would have a little, my mom does like hamburger, but she doesn't like a lot. She's more like me, load it with the veggies, keep it healthy. And if I had spinach, you're darn right, spinach would definitely go on both of our pizza. It's a great way to make it even more healthy and you cannot taste the spinach, guys. If you're afraid, to make pizza for somebody that might not like spinach they can't taste it it melts it shrinks because when I load it on the pizza it looks like oh my gosh it's all spinach but it melts down with the heat and then you can't even taste it so I'm just grating cheese I'll be back okay so now it's time to load up the cheese I just grated it myself it's cheaper to buy your block of cheese and grate it and I know I've heard a couple people now, I think Michelle was one of them, and I heard it before from keto people that if you buy pre-grated cheese at the grocery store, it has flour or something in it to keep so that your grated cheese doesn't all stick together. So it helps to keep it separated after it's grated. Now, I don't think it's a lot, but still, that's added. If you're on keto, you wanna grate your own, I guess. But anyway, I don't overload it with cheese either, guys. It might look it from the picture, but in real life, this is not loaded. I've seen loaded cheese on pizza, and it's not that. I want to make sure it's covered with cheese, but not where it's like, oh, wow, dang, you really did it. I try to make these pizzas as healthy as possible and don't mind some cheese my hubby loves it too I'm so thankful they make a lactose cheese because there I actually have some leftover my girls are just loving their cheese tonight here coke you can have that dear here there Coco likes to shred it and Paris likes the chunk well Paris would eat anything but Coco prefers me to give her shredded cheese and uh Anyway, I'm just picking it up so I don't have any waste because if I leave it on the counter, I'll eat it and I don't need it. I still got to do my walk. I, as soon as I put these pizzas in the fridge because I'm not cooking it till supper time, but I'm going to have it prepared. That way I can do up my dishes and all that. So here's the pre-cooked bacon. And I always try to make sure I have a package here on hand. 
in case I had to do like bacon wrapped chestnuts or throw it on pizza at least you have it and uh, it is pre-cooked so but it's not cooked enough that I would just take a bite right now like literally I would have to cook it you can cook it in your microwave and it just cooks fine or your oven for a few seconds like doesn't take long because like I said it is pre-cooked that's it pizza's ready to eat or no it's not ready to eat it's ready to cook but I'm gonna wrap it with plastic wrap and then I put a plastic bag over it plastic wrap alone will not keep your pizza from drying out in the fridge I have to do the two-step thing I I wrap it really good with the plastic wrap and then I put a bag it's like a white garbage bag maybe I'll just wrap it with this to show you what I mean there hopefully you can see everything but oh no <sighs> My wrap felt, you know when it falls out of place or whatever? There we go. Okay, so I just take my wrap. There, one half. My, that's in the way, that's in the way, and that's in the way. I gotta clean up my mess. Once this goes in the fridge, then I clean up my mess, then I gotta go for my walk right away before it rains. If not, I'm gonna have to use the treadmill. I'm thankful for the treadmill, but I don't wanna have to walk on it. But if I have to, I will. Okay, so you see I wrapped it good with plastic wrap. And I mean, if you put it in the fridge like that, it's gonna dry out some of the dough, and you do not want that. So we have these white garbage bags. They're for like a garbage pail, not the big. They're not the big garbage bag that you put in your big garbage can. They're like a medium size. So then you take it like that and you put it in there like that. And then you make sure it's sealed. Now, this can be in your fridge all day or till tomorrow and it's not gonna dry out at all. You got it double double wrapped and sealed and it's good to go. I gotta clean up my mess, clean up my mess, put stuff in the fridge, pizza in the fridge and finish up these dishes. I did those. So yeah, I gotta take care of this right now.